So there are three brand new games that are being added for you guys to download and play for free with your memberships. Make sure you check them out. Some decent titles on here. Um, if you pay for PlayStation now, it's to me, I think it's always a good deal. For people out there that struggle picking up games constantly, um, if there's multiple games out every month that you're looking for, you're paying like 50 quid every single time. It gets so expensive, but if you're always looking for new stuff to play, but you're not bothered whether it's brand new titles, PlayStation Now is always worthwhile. For a membership, you've got access to so many games. It is unbelievable. But the three new games that have been added. Just a quick one before anything, guys. Um, if any of you are looking to pick yourself up an awesome some custom controller make sure you check out controllermods.co.uk now these are available worldwide there's a link at the very top of the description with a discount code the prices are so cheap you can get the dominator buttons which just make your gaming so much easier and you can also fully customize and fully design your own and you can see that's the starting price with a faceplate on which is only a little bit different in price than a standard dual shot make sure you check them out the first is The Evil Within, and I'll be honest, even though this game looks pretty cool, I don't like it because I don't like horror games. I'm a shitbag when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, I have actually played Evil Within. The start of it was okay, I was enjoying it, and then as soon as it got jumpy and scary, I turned it off, deleted it, and never even looked at the game again. For any horror fans out there, though, this game is pretty good, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Definitely check that one out. Uh, next up, a game... I was looking forward to it when I heard about it, and when it first came out, I was a little bit disappointed because it what it wasn't what I was expecting it to be, and that's Lego World. When I first saw this game, I was expecting Minecraft, but Lego. Literally jumping in, building your own massive Lego worlds, and doing all sorts, and it being awesome and cool, and just everything that you always wanted. And when you jumped into it, it was just a little bit different. It was similar to the other Lego games, apart from you had different worlds. So you'd start off on one and it'd be like a candy world. You'd do little mini missions on it and whatever. Um, and when you got so many gold bricks, you'd be able to travel to the next one. It just wasn't what I was expecting. It's not that it's a bad game. It just wasn't what I was expecting it to be. Decent game though, if you like Lego. Um, and finally, uh, Cities Skylines. This is pretty much SimCity, if you ever played that. You're building up your own city, putting your roads in, trying to earn money and all that sort of stuff. There's loads of DLC for it that makes the game really, really cool. Disasters and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've always enjoyed these kind of games. It's just these days, I just don't really play them. I mean, like The Sims, I used to play it back in the day on PC. And I mean, like Sims 2. And I absolutely loved it. And when I heard that Sims 4 were going on PlayStation Plus, I were excited for it. And then at the same time, it's just, I don't really play those games anymore. Even though I used to enjoy them. Um, there's another one coming out quite soon. Uh, theme Park. Not Theme Park. Um, Two Point Hospital, that's the one. Um, unedited when I'm trying to think. Um, Two Point Hospital is another one of those style of games which again looks really really cool. It's one that I want to play, it's just I don't know whether I would. Um, City Skylines, it's just the same kind of thing. It's a really enjoyable game, it's just if it's the kind of game that you could put time into because you can spend hours and hours building up stuff, it's just whether or not it's for you. Uh, but they're the three games that are out on PlayStation now. Uh, curious to see what you guys think though, leave a comment down below. Out the three new games, which one are you most looking forward to? To checking out uh, but that's pretty much it for this one i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have a like would be awesome don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new but thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time